Hey, this is how to play the rhythm guitar for um, the song Disco. Um, it's in standard tuning and um, you don't use a pick, you use your fingers. Cool, so I'll play along to the song first and then go through it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I need some time for that. I don't know what happened to the song there. Um. Sorry, I'll just pick up where I left off. Um... and not the full song so um just a sec Thank you. 
So that's the, the verse in the choruses. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the full song. I just. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Says the second chorus. So this next part I play for the rhythm is not actually on the song, but you'll hear it when I play it. Yeah. So sorry, I was a bit um, disjointed because I um I was playing half the song and then I finally got the full track. But anyway, I'll go for it slowly, and um I'm probably gonna play this a bit slower than the like as a band play this a little bit slower than the recording because it is quite tricky. Um, keeping up that pace with the finger picking. Yeah, it is quite tricky keeping up that pace, even I struggle, but yeah, it takes a bit of practice. Um, so anyway, I'll start, I'll go through the, the verse, uh, the intro. So in the intro, there's no um, hi-hat to keep the tempo of that, those first few bits, but I'm going to make sure there's a hi-hat to keep the tempo when, the, you know, the bit... Um, that bit there yeah so um also when I, I'm playing the lead guitar and when the, you do that the I'm going so sort of like that yeah I'm doing that the that bit but yeah, it's not on the recording but yeah, I'll do it when we play it as a band um, so yeah, the first bit is, um, it's like an E flat, um, minor to the E minor, but you're playing the, you're only playing the A string, the G string and the B string. So that's, um, 6th fret on the A, um, 8th fret on the G, 7th fret on the B. And that's just there for, you know, I don't know why that finger's there, just, you know, because it's an E minor shape. So you go like that. So you're taking that chord and sliding it up a fret. Like that. So you do that twice, you go. And the next time you go, that's um, 11 fret on the low E, 11 fret on the G, and 10 fret on the B. 
and then there's 12th fret on the low E, 12th fret on the G and the B. So you're barring the G and the B with that finger. So you do that twice, so it goes. Oh, sorry. So I just don't, don't do that, um, don't do that, that's just me keeping in time, so you're just going. So. And then, um, you go, so there's zero on the low E of your thumb, and then, um, 12 on the D, 12 on the G, and 12 on the B, you bar it. So you just finger pick it, like the low E with your thumb, and then the, the D, G, B with your um, index, middle, and ring finger. So, and then you do this chord. So that's um, 0 on the low E, um, 11 on the D, 12 on the G, 12 on the B. And still, that G and the B is... Um, Barred with that um, ring finger, so, and then you go back to the same, the first chord again, then back to that one. This next one is open on the um, low E, um, 14th on the D, 12th on the G and the B. And you're barring it with your index finger on the G and the B, so. So. Like that. Zero on the low E, 14 on the D, 12 on the G, 12 on the B. And then you go. So that's basically. So basically the note that's changing is the. So you're going, and then that same chord, but um, 13th on the D instead of 14th. Still low, zero low E string, 13 on the D, 12th on the G and the B. And then zero on the low E, 12th on the D, G, B. Then zero on the low E, 11 on the D, 12 on the G and the B. And then zero on the low E, 10th on the D, 12th on the G and the B. And then you go back up. So the 11th on the D, 12th on the D, 13th on the D, and then this chord. That's 0 on the low E, 12th on the, or oh, 14th on the D, 14th on the G, and 12th on the B. So it's, I'll play it slowly. Like that. And then, with the drums, the when the whole band kicks in, this is um, um, oh, sorry, this is um the finger picking verse. So you're playing a, so you're doing a C chord um, third on the A string, um, second on the D string, but you're not playing that note, um in this first chord, um, open on the G string and third on the B string, and you're using your thumb to play the bass, so you're playing the third fret on the A, and then the open G, then back to the third fret on the A, and then the third fret on the B, so it's, and then back to the G, so. Playing the G and the B string with your um, index and middle finger if you want, yeah, the index and middle finger. So the G with the index and the B with the middle finger. So, so yeah, that's the pattern. So the pattern is like that. 
So it goes like that. Then this next one. So that's um, fifth fret on the A, fourth fret on the D, zero fret on the G, open on the G. And you're playing the um the fifth fret on the A with your thumb. And then the fourth fret on the D with your index finger. And then the open G with your middle finger. So. So. Like that. So it's like A to the D string, back to the A to the G string, back to the D string. So. Like that. So. This next chord is. Um, first on the D. Op open on the G. Third on the B. Open on the high E. But you're not playing the. Um. The open G, sorry. Yeah, so it's... So remember with this first chord, you're not actually playing that note on the D. You're playing the A string, the G string, and the B string. And then on this bit, you're playing the A, the D, and the G string. And this bit. So that's um, second on the D, third on the B, open on the high E. So you're using your thumb for that E on the D string, um, middle finger for the B on the um, B, oh, middle finger for the third fret on the B string, and um, ring finger for the um, high E, the zero on the high E. So I do it real slow. this chord it's an A minor 7 so you play the 0 on the A with your thumb then the second on the D with your um, ring finger uh, your index finger and then um, you play the first fret on the B string with your uh, middle finger on oh, no, your ring finger and then the open on the G with your um, middle finger so Just check if we're still recording. Oh yeah, cool. Um yeah. This bit. So it's A string, D string, B string, G string. Like that. Then you go. So then you go. So it's the open on the A to the and the second on the D. And then you go second on the A and open on the D. So like that. And then that same first chord again, and then this is a diminished um a D sharp diminished. So So you're playing the first fret on the um D, second fret on the G, but you're not playing that note. Um, first fret on the B and second fret on the high E. And you're playing the D string, the B string, the G string, then the B string. So you like that. So so you're going D string, B string, back to the D string, high E string, back to the B string. So, so, slow it. So, and then 
the I've already taught you that bit so I'll play the first I'll play the verse the pattern it does it three times so Second time. Last time. Slide down. So at the, the, at the third one, at the last one, just before the that bit, just before that bit, you go, you end on the high E, so you go, that way it gives you a chance, because if you end on that high E, you don't have to play that B note, because that gives you time to get up to this fret to do the next bit. So it goes, this is the third time of the first verse. And this next bit, this is a do an E minor shape with your bar, E minor bar chord. So it's um, you're playing so bar it like that on the seventh fret with your um, index finger, and then um. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, um... Ninth fret on the D string, ninth fret on the G string, eighth fret on the B string. And you're going like that, hitting the, with your thumb. Like that. So you're picking the D, G, B string. For your index, middle and ring finger. Index for the D, middle for the G, ring finger for the B. So you're going. And then you're taking, um. Oh yeah. Um. So you're going. Hold on. So you're hitting it. Hitting the the strings then do it again but take that um, finger off the D string like that and do it twice and then take your um, middle finger off the B string and then so it's so I'll do that it's Ninth fret on the D, ninth fret on the G, eighth fret on the B. Then you do it. Um, it's seventh fret on the D, ninth fret on the G, eighth fret on the B. That's the second chord. And then it's seventh fret on the D, ninth fret on the G, and um, seventh fret on the B. And this next one is um, ninth fret on the D and eighth fret on the G and the B. So it goes like that. So I do it slow. Like that. So that's that bit. And then you go the um this is 
or oh, eight three on the low E, ten three on the D, twelve three on the no oh, no eight three on the low E, ten three on the A, twelve on the um D. So it's just like um a police chord like from the police. So you go. So the pattern is. So you play the low E with your thumb, the A string with your index, and the D string with your middle finger, and you go like that. So you got like that, and then slide it up two frets, keeping the same notes. So you know, slide it up two frets. And then to the G. So that's um, third fret on the low E, fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D. And then the second time around you do it from this bit, the C. The only reason the first time it goes from starts up there is because you're doing that. And it's easier to transition than going See, it's harder to get back down there to do it from there, see. So Second time. Like that. So it's the same finger padding, finger picking padding in the right hand. So you're going to C, D. This is the third time around, then you do a that's um, 7 from the low E, 7 from the D, 8 from the G, 8 from the B. Um, yeah. When I talk about the number 8 or whatever, that's the fret. And then I talk about what string it's on. So I say it's 7 on the G, that means 7 fret on the G string. Or if I say 2 on the A string, that means 2nd um, fret on the A. Yeah. So that's... Uh, Seven sharp five, so it goes. So I'll play that. Oh, sorry, I'll start again. So that's then an E minor seven. Play the A string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. You know what an E minor seven is. Then this is the last time. The very last time you end on the D string instead of going ending on the A string. Instead of ending on the A string, you end on the D. Like that. So it gives you time to get back into that again. So I'll play it. So the last bit. See how it gives you ending on that. There's a bit of a pause, then you can go back to the verse. So it does that again. Does the chorus, um, second chorus, we'll just start, we'll start just before the second chorus. Oh. Um, D string and this is the where the lead solo comes in there's no solo on the recording but um there I play a solo so you're doing the D so it's a D chord um, you can either use for the B and the E string your middle finger and your ring finger. Yeah, I use my middle finger and my ring finger. These 
these, oh fuck, these two. No, wait. Oh, screw that. Wait. <clears throat> So you play the open D string, B string, third fret on the B string, um, second fret on the high E. Like that. So it's D, B, D string, high E string, back to the B string. So. That's the pattern. Next one is an A chord. A chord. Um, sorry. That's um, zero on the A, um, second on the G, third on the B. And you're barring it, that D string as well, just for the hell of it. So. And then a. A sharp diminish. So that's first fret on the A string, zero fret on the G string, and third second fret on the B string. So so like that. So that's So, it's a B minor 7 this chord, so you play um, first fret on the um, A string, on oh no, a second fret on the A string, then second fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string. Same finger picking pattern, ah, same finger picking pattern. Then back to that A chord. Like that, and then the G. Oh. So this is third fret on the low E, open on the G, third fret on the B. And then second fret on the low E, second fret on the G, third fret on the B. Like that, so, so I'll do it real slow. to the G. So I'll take off, so yeah, when you're doing that, then that. That thumb over the top for the, the D with the F sharp. And you're playing the G and B string with your middle finger and ring finger. Still playing, and this is a G sharp diminished, but you're only playing the low E string, the G string, and the B string. So it's fourth on the low E, fourth on the um, G string, and third on the B string. So. Then an A sharp. A major 11, or a, yeah, no, A minor, A minor 11, oh. oh, anyway, this chord, you know this chord, so it's um, 5th fret on the low E, 4th um, fret on the G, and 3rd fret on the B, that finger, same finger, finger picking bend, and this is just a 2nd on the A string, open on the G, and 3rd on the B, it goes back into the chorus so I'll play it real slow from the solo bit so back to the chorus like that 
Um, and the last bit, when the bass is going... So there's no actual um, guitar on the recording when the bass is doing that by itself. But this is what I'll be doing. This is what I want you to do on the room. I want you to do. So that's um, 10th on the A, 12th on the D, and 14th on the G. I'm doing that same finger picking pin. The A string with your thumb, D string with your index, and um, G string with your middle finger. So, like that. Then this chord. So that's. Um, 7th fret A, 9th fret D, 11th fret G, um, 8th fret B. And then, this is 3rd fret on the A, 4th fret on the D, open on the G, and 3rd fret on the B. And that's the finger picking style. Like, like that. And then, like that. You already know that chord. So it goes. Yeah, and that's the end. Wow, what a long video. So this is, um, so just, um, that was the video, um, just some points. Um, we're gonna play it, just to yeah, remind you, we're gonna play it a tad slower than the recording. So it's a bit easier for the, and it's actually quite tricky to <laughs> um, do that finger picking. So yeah, it'll take a lot of practice, but yeah. Um, sweet. Cool.